Hi, I'm Brandon Ruffer from Town & Country Garage Door, and in this video, we're going to be talking about garage door spring replacement costs. Now remember, when you get a garage door spring replacement, there's a lot of different things that go into it, such as the size of the spring and the amount of cycles you want on your spring. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about the additional things that could happen when you get a garage door spring replacement, including extra repairs, and then we're going to talk about the numbers of just a garage door spring replacement. So, let's talk about it. Most people don't even know that there's multiple packages of springs. There's a standard cycle, which is the 10,000 cycles. This means your door can open up 10,000 times without the spring breaking. And then there's also another option we offer, which is 30,000 cycles. That means you're getting three times the amount of cycles that you would on your 10,000 cycle spring. So another thing we look at when it comes to pricing is how many springs you have on your door. Most people will have one spring on their door or two springs on their door. And occasionally, depending on the door you have, you could even have four springs. So the number of springs you have on your door could really change the price that you would get quoted when you're looking for a garage or spring replacement. There's a lot of different additional repairs that you could need just because your springs broke and it would be most convenient for us to repair it for you. Some of these things would be a cable repair because your cables are frayed, rusted, or even broken. Your cable drums could be broken. The torsion tube, which the tube that your garage door springs are on and that goes above your garage door, that could be either bent or worn. We also look at the bearings on your torsion tube to make sure everything is moving smoothly. We don't want anything digging into the torsion tube which could cause it to break. So, now that you know the basics of a garage door spring replacement and everything that could happen and be looked at, I want to go over the costs. When you're looking at a garage door spring replacement for a standard spring, which is the 10,000 cycle, on a one to two car garage door, you're looking at anywhere between $450 and $650. Now, if you're looking at upgrading to those premium springs, you're looking at anything between $850 and $1,050. That means, for your standard springs to your premium springs, you're only paying around double the cost of what it would cost, and you're getting three times as much life out of them. We always recommend the premium springs. This is because you have the garage door companies coming out to your house less, and it'd be more reliable for you to know that your garage door won't fail on you. Finally, when you're getting a garage door spring replacement, a rule of thumb to always remember, if your garage door is 15 years or older, or you're looking at about 25% of what an actual garage door is gonna cost you, we recommend that you always get a new garage door. That way it's more reliable and you get to choose something that you really want for your house. Remember, I'm Brandon Ruffner from Town & Country Garage Door. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.